Hey, good morning, Coffee Treasure family. Part of my kingdom family. I don't know who you are. I don't even know who's watching this. But you know what? I am not here to be famous. I am not here to have followers. I am here because God has called me to share His truths out of His Word. I'm touching my Bible right now. I actually made me a stand. Um, and the gospel of Jesus. That is why I am here. And I am changing my format up a little bit. Still going to try to do this twice a day. I think I can commit 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening. But um, I may switch to afternoon because I have a little bit more time in most afternoons. There are a few afternoons that I don't. I really would like to do this at least six days a week consistently. So I'm going to try to do this for six days. And then on Sunday, I'm taking Sunday off. And I may start going back to church on Sunday nights when my car gets to where it's up and running. I get new glasses that I can drive with better. Anyway, uh 2022 has brought some craziness, but that's okay. If you come in, if you will please put your name in the comments on Facebook. I know you can't do that on YouTube, but please put your name in the comments on YouTube also. I would love to pray for you. I would love to um, create a community here. My name is Charm, and I'm doing this as a part of my Awesome Treasures ministry in obedience to God. I heard the best message last night on Passion 2022 that really hit me so hard. And that was uh, by Christine Kane, which she is one of my favorites to listen to. And it was about having a different spirit. It was about two things. Having a different spirit in having a wholehearted obedience towards God. Those two things. So if we can do those two things, we can change things. Of course, their messages are directed to a younger generation, but what they don't realize is the older generation learns also. And so that story came out of Caleb. And my plans for this week is to unpack what I've been watching the past two days. Because it is so much that I can't give you a review in one sitting. So for the rest of the week, I'm going to unpack it. And not during this time. Because this time... I have reserved for this, for Jesus Always by Sarah Young. So please, please, if you want this book, I will send it to you for free. All you have to do is email me and tell me that you watched Coffee Treasures Ministry, and I will send you a free one. Okay, I will contact you back from my email. And I keep checking my email, but I haven't gotten anything yet. But please, I want to give these away. That's part of my, my hashtag this year. The things that I am working on this year, hashtag 2022. And I, I tag everything that I share on Facebook with this. Hashtag 2022. <laughs> Godfidence, because I am going to walk in the confidence of God, not my confidence. Um, thankful and bless. I want to bless others. I want to bless others because God has blessed me. So those are my three words that I'm, con I'm concentrating on this year. I'm working on. And what I have found is when I choose three words and I work through them every year, God teaches me lessons about those words. And then he helps me walk through using those words the next year. 
So these words may actually be for 2023. They may not even be for this year, but during this year, he is going to teach me about those words. And he's going to teach me to be more thankful. I don't want to take for granted all the things that God has done in my life. And last year, my word was presence. I wanted to be more in the presence of God, and I was. I was consistent with my quiet time, even if it was in the afternoons. I was pretty consistent. There's probably more days that I had quiet time than not. And um, what was the other word? Presence. I've already forgotten because I've moved into a new year. And I can't look it up because it's on my phone. So it's okay. We're going to pray. We're going to do this. And uh, I hope you are enjoying this because it is so awesome. It is just so awesome. And I have, I have some car issues that I have got to deal with. So, my husband keeps telling me it's not dangerous, but God keeps telling me it is. So, I got to get it fixed. But that's okay. Because God will show me what I need to do. He's already shown me what I need to do. I just need to do it. I just need to walk in obedience. That wholehearted obedience. That's what I want to do. I may add that to my deal. A different spirit. Like a holy, holy spirit ruling my life is what that different spirit is about and I will share that on um, I'm gonna not do Psalms for a while I'm gonna unpack what I learned in the past two days by watching by just watching in my home Passion 2022 and I have so many exciting things to share with you about that but let's do Jesus Always by Sarah Young my favorite devotional book. I'm just going to read this until Jesus comes. All right, well, let's pray. God, I just thank you for anyone that comes and listens to your word, not me, but the Holy Spirit working through me. I am just a vessel, God, and I want to be in tune to what the Holy Spirit wants me to share. So, God, just please open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us this morning. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So, with open hearts and minds, let's see what God, what Jesus wants to tell us. Because what I love about this book is it is like Jesus is speaking to us. I think I'm going to need another light here in my office. Find joy in me, for I am your strength. It is vital to keep your joy alive, especially when you're in the throes of adversity. I am in adversity. i got to get my car fixed. Whenever you are struggling with difficulties, you need to guard your thoughts and spoken words carefully. Yeah, because I've been kind of hateful with my husband, and I feel bad about it, but I need something done. If you focus too much on all the things that are wrong, you will become increasingly discouraged and your strength will be sapped. Yes, I can see that it can happen so easily. As soon as you realize what is happening, stop this hurtful process immediately. Turn to me, asking me to help you with all your struggles. Take time to praise me. Speak or sing words of worship. Read scriptures that help you rejoice in me. Remember that your problems are temporary, but I am eternal, and so is your relationship with me. As you find joy in me, delighting in my unfailing love for you, your strength will increase. This is the joy of the Lord, which is yours for all time and throughout eternity. Amen. All right. Well, the scriptures today are in Psalms 66. Sarah Young uses a lot of psalms. I like that. 
because I like Psalms. That's why I'm doing a study on it. But I'm preempting because I believe that there's some messages <clears throat> that God shared with me through His messengers, His willing vessels that stood up there and shared messages out of His Word. And I want to share them with you. Okay. Or I feel led to share them with you. 66, 1 through 3. Make a joyful shout to God, all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Selah. That is so awesome. I love that. I love that. Because praise and worship is one of the favorite things that I like to do. So anything about praising God or praising Jesus just gives me instant joy. I heard so many good songs. I'm going to unpack all the songs, too, through uh, Facebook. I'm working on a share today. I think that it's going to be Christ Be Magnified because I woke up singing that this morning. Okay, Psalm 143.8 says... Cease me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Wow, well that is um, pretty much what I'm going through. I just need to, yesterday was be still and know that I'm God. I just need to be still and wait on God. I'm, I'm also waiting for another vehicle that God has shown me that I know he's going to bring me because he has brought us our last four vehicles he has brought us and they have been good vehicles that we could depend upon because we don't buy brand new vehicles because we don't want a brand new payment in higher insurance and really I don't drive that much so while I'm looking for Nehemiah Not real sure where Nehemiah is. If you thought I was some great Bible scholar, I'm really not. I'm on a journey to learn just like you. <clears throat> and sometimes I say things that are wrong. And if I, if I find out, then I usually go and correct it. <clears throat> because I want to represent God's word truthfully because truth is very important to me okay Nehemiah 8 10 then he said to them go your way eat the fat drink the sweet and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared for this day is holy to our Lord do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And that's what we've been talking about. Love this book. Want to give it away. I will put my... Um, excuse me. I will put my um, email address. In YouTube and in Facebook. I really want to do Instagram too. I really want to start another feed. I don't know that much about Instagram Live. I don't know how long it takes. I watch a lot of things on Instagram uh, in the mornings. I, do, I start my day with you version. Then that takes me into Instagram because I share a scripture from my you version verse. So that's the first thing I do with my coffee and I do have my coffee it may be cold by now warmish I hope you have your coffee this morning I always invite you to bring your coffee 
I always want to invite you into God's kingdom too. I always want to invite you to be saved. Through Jesus, I can save no one. But I can tell you how you can be saved. Because I am saved. And yesterday, I got set free from an old sin that has really bothered me for a long time. I had a long talk with God about it, and I have been set free. And I am not going back there anymore. The enemy wants to throw up our past sins in our faces. And what we have to say is we have to say no. By the blood of Jesus, that sin has been cleansed. I am free. I am free. Okay. I just wanted to share that too. Do you know the ABCs of life? So this is not anything that I wrote. Again, it is something that I received um, at YEC, I think in 2018. It has to do with see you at the poll, which we do with our we do with our students every year. By the way, I am very proud of our students. You can't even see the see you at the poll. Oh, I got the wrong side. <laughs> see you at the poll. I was showing you the blank side. See you at the poll. We do that with our youth. I am so proud of our youth. For years, we have prayed for a unified youth. We have prayed for youth that would step out as leaders. We have prayed for a lot of things that we are seeing now. We have prayed for worship leaders, and now we're seeing that. So I am so proud of our youth at our church. And I can't wait to see what God wants to do with this younger generation going out and sharing the gospel of Jesus. Okay, well, let me share the gospel of Jesus with you real quick. So do you know the ABCs of life? God created you to experience a full life here on earth. John 10.10 10. And he wants you to spend eternity with him. 2 Peter 3.9 Admit you need a savior. That's number one. Admit you need a savior. No, to become a Christian, you simply need to. Sorry, I skipped that. Admit you need a savior. We've all disobeyed God which is sin, and earned separation from God, which is death. Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, no matter how good you are and how hard you try, you can't work your way to heaven. Ephesians 2.8-9, <clears throat> excuse me, to believe in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. C. Commit. This is ABCs. ABC or 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Commit your life to Christ. You can believe in your mind that Jesus exists, but to have a relationship with him, you must ask him to be your Lord here on earth, and your Savior eternally. Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So this is the prayer, and I'm going to say it really slow. So if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior, again, I cannot save you but Jesus can, then repeat this prayer after me, okay? Jesus, I have sinned. I'm going to read up here. Jesus, I have sinned. Thank you for dying for me. So I could be forgiven. I trust you alone for eternal life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.
So if you invited Jesus into your heart today to be your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, His Son, that He sent, that He sent. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 my bracelet that kept jumping off my candle the other day because God wanted me to share that. All right, well, I am going to get off of here. I'm going to say a quick prayer. God, thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the reminder that Jesus is, the joy of Jesus is our strength. Thank you for reminding me personally that I just need to trust you that all things will fall into place according to your perfect will and your perfect timing. Help me to remember and not to be anxious, just to trust. I pray for anyone that came here today. <clears throat> if they are anxious about anything, that God, you will bless them and give them peace and help them not to not to be anxious, but to trust you. Not to walk in fear, but walk in faith. God, help this year be the year that we have the boldness to approach anyone and share the good news of Jesus with them. Because you have shared with me so many times that time is running out that people need to decide now while they can. Thank you, God, for this time. Please order our steps today as we serve you today. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, well, I am going to either try to do this every day at 8 or 9. I'm really trying to decide a time that will work with the schedule because I also do homeschooling so I have to take that into con I have to take that <clears throat> into consideration also but I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you join me tonight for uh, awesome treasures minist ministry <laughs> pray and share because I'm going to be unloading Passion 2022 and how it's impacted my new year and what God has shared with me. A lot of the things that God had already shared with me for this new year, He confirmed with me. And that is so awesome. I love confirmation. So, God bless you all abundantly and your families. And much love and cyber hugs, and have an awesome day in the Lord. Bye.